I look like I have a dog poop on my head. This is my like little cash messy bun today, but why does it always look less couture in the camera for? Oh god damn! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my January favourites. January is already over, bitch, what? I haven't done a favourites video in a few months, of course, because it's me. I just haven't had anything to show you guys new in the last few months. And so I don't call myself a beauty guru because if you're a beauty guru, you can't go like more than a month without doing a favourites video. Like you actually can't. It's just like code. Like you can't go more than a month. It's just like the rules of feminism. So I have a couple of things to show you guys for this month that I have been loving. And I also have some non-beauty related things as well because this channel ain't all about the glitz and glam. So this is a palette that I actually got given when I was in beauty college and it was from a brand called Makeup Studio which is the makeup brand that we worked with then. And this is the palette that they gave me and when I saw this palette I was like, bitch what? How am I going to do natural makeup with this palette? Like this is like a freaking special effects palette and they gave it to me in beauty therapy school. Like are you joking? But these colours are actually really, really pigmented and I started using them recently. This orange colour here, if you use it super, super slightly because if you go overboard it's just like way too much. It's a really, really nice transition colour if you're doing kind of like a warm you know, orange kind of eye. And then this colour here, this kind of, um, what's that called? Like rich chocolatey brown is really nice as well. But they are just real pigmented. Like you can see that there. And um, they can blend away a little bit if you kind of go overboard with them, but they're just really nice. So I think you can buy the eyeshadows individually on the makeup studio site. It's not makeup store, it's makeup studio. Uh, but I definitely recommend that you try them out because they're actually really, really good quality and I only just started to kind of like dwell in them recently and I like it and the palette is quite nice as well even though it's one of those like ones that get dirty but you know girl you just have to deal with it why am I talking ghetto all the time because there's me okay so the next favorite product is kind of like a two-in-one sort of deal it is my new palette that I made myself and it is the Z palettes. Now I got this off of Makeup Geek Cosmetics and I also got the eyeshadows which I have shown you guys in a haul video so you know all of the ones that I got. And then I also put in Satin Taupe Tempting and Naked Lunch from my MAC um, eyeshadows as well. I depotted them. Tempting got a little ruined. Ugh, that's like my favourite MAC eyeshadow. And it ruined. Ugh. I absolutely love these eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. Um, they are super, super pigmented, very, very blendable, and I just love them. They are exactly worth the hype and for the price, it's awesome. But I also just love this palette. If you don't know what a Z palette is, it's kind of like a magnetic palette that you can actually depot single eyeshadows or just buy single eyeshadows and then you put them on little magnetic stickers and then you put them into a palette and it just looks so professional. Like if I was to walk into somewhere right now with this, people would be like, ooh, they're makeup artist over there but I'm not but it's the Z palette that's kind of tricking everyone I just think it looks so much more professional and so much neater in your makeup storage and I just love it so much so definitely definitely recommend Z palettes and makeup geek eyeshadows okay so the next two things I don't know if I've mentioned these in a favorites video before I probably mentioned at least one of them but I thought I'd just show them again they are these blushes from face of Australia and that is an Australian brand obviously I think you can find it in Priceline, maybe Target, maybe some Kmart up in there. This one is in Terra, which is kind of like a beigey, kind of mauve colour. And then this one is in Primrose. This one I don't think I've shown in the video before, but it's like a dusty rosy pink. I think I've shown Terra before. It's like one of my favourite blushes ever. These blushes are really, really cheap. They're not very pigmented. I'm not even really going to bother swatching them because, bitch, if you could get any less pigmented in a blush, it would be these. But that's funny, it's kind of the thing that I like about them because you can build them up. They are kind of a little powdery, but when they go on the skin, they just kind of melt in and just give that like lid from within glow. I'm not wearing it today by now, just letting you know, but I actually really, really like them. As I said, they're super cheap, so you can't really expect too much from them, but I just like the fact that you don't have to kind of put it on your face and it just looks like too intense. You can build it up to kind of get the color that you want. And I really, really love it. So if you can find Face of Australia brushes, blushes, and you kind of like blushes that aren't too in your face, 
these two are definitely a must have. Okay, so this next product is actually really funny because I literally got this today. Like literally as I'm filming this, I got it today. But I just put it on and I was like, oh, I just need to mention this in my Jan favorite. So this is a lipstick that I just picked up. It is the Color Rich lipstick from L'Oreal. I believe it's their super lustrous. I don't know. It's the uh, shade 235 Nude. So this is the what it, it looks like. It's basically just a really, really pretty kind of like browning nude shade. And it's kind of um, has a little bit of a, a gloss to it. So it's kind of like a cream. It's a luster. And I absolutely love it. As I said, I'm wearing it right now with an Essence lip liner. And I don't really have a color like this. All of my nudes are like that really like super nude color. So this is kind of just like an everyday nude that I can wear. And I really, really love it. And I really like the packaging. I know some people don't like the packaging. But I just think it looks really, really nice. I know it kind of looks grandma-ish, but I love that girl, girl. You know I'm all about that girl, about that girl. Lipstick packaging. But moving on now to my next favorite. Um, I'll go with a perfume first. So this is Flush by Jimmy Choo. I got this for Christmas off of my mom and her partner. And um, I kept the box because I just really like the box. You know how you do that. And this is the perfume bottle that it comes in. It's just like a little, like, little purple thing. Um... I really, really like this perfume. This is kind of like the most expensive perfume that I own. It just smells really good. You know, bitch, I can't be telling you what scent this smells like because who can actually sit there and tell you what perfume smell like? Like, God. If you're kind of into like more mature, sexy nighttime scents, well, not really mature, I guess. If you're more into like nighttime kind of scents, even though I put this on the daytime, then I definitely recommend this because it smells really, really good and the bottle is really pretty as well, so. Loved it. I have three makeup brushes to share with you guys. The first two are Sigma brushes. Now, bitch, I'm sorry, but I don't actually remember if I've mentioned these in the favorites video or not. Does anyone else do that? Like, I forget when I mention in favorites videos. Like, I don't remember. So, this is the Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. It is a very, very fluffy, big brush. And I use this to apply my transition color, which is really, really good for that because it's just really big and you don't really need to be getting anywhere precise with the transition color. And then the other brush that I have is the Sigma E25, which is a pretty infamous brush. It is basically just kind of like a fluffy blending brush, but it's white. And this is what I use to put color into the crease if I'm not wanting anything too precise. This is really good for that. I also like this brush because it blends out really really well it's not like you kind of have to do it and then go in with a separate blending brush you can use this to kind of blend everything out as well as put color it's really really good and then another brush if you watched my haul video recently I mentioned that Makeup Geek didn't send me my eyeshadow blush brush the pencil brush um, they didn't send me it and I had to email them and ask them to send me again well guess what Okay, I found it. I found it eventually. Like, they did send it to me, so I was going on about nothing, but how embarrassing. I emailed them and told them they didn't send me the pencil brush, and they said that they would send another one. And then literally a couple days later, I was like, where's this little thing in this bubble wrap? And I opened it up, and it was the pencil brush. So, I'm sorry, makeup geek. I'm sorry. That other brush you sent me will go to good use. I'll give it to a friend or something. Like, I'm really, really sorry. I just feel like a thief. But um, I really didn't think they sent it to me. So this is a little pencil brush that I have been loving. Um, this is kind of a little, like it's very dense, so I find when I'm like doing my eye shadow, I'm like, cause it's like really, really hurting. But it's really, really good to blend out color on the lower lash line, just so you can get it really nice and precise and smoke that lower lash line out. You can also use it to kind of make a cut crease as well. Um, it's a really, really good brush. It's like the perfect size and perfect shape. I just wish it was a little softer, but then I guess, it wouldn't probably work as well, so that's that. So moving on now to my non-beauty related favorites. So I'm gonna talk about some YouTubers first. So the first person I've been loving this month is Deji from Comedy Shorts Gamer. I actually prefer watching non-beauty people on YouTube because I just find them to be more entertaining for me. Like I love watching beauty videos and I watch them all the time, but I actually really, really love watching non-beauty videos as well. So Deji from Comedy Shorts Gamer, if you don't know him, you have to check out if you're into kind of like funny entertaining youtubers and not just all about their beauty but I love him he is so energetic and he posts all the time and he's just so hilarious and I just love him two bits I would probably shag him then I'm moving on to two beauty gurus that I just 
I've loved them for literally months and I just can't get over them. The first one is Casey Holmes. I just love watching Casey's videos. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, because she's really pretty. I love her, and I just love her question and answers videos. I love her personality. One thing I really like about Casey, let's get into the deep zone. One thing that I really, really like about Casey is she's just, she's went through some stuff, like, which I'm acting like I know her. She went through some stuff, I think with a breakup for her fiance, fiance, from her fiance, and the way that she is on her videos and just the way that she talks about life and just having fun is a real inspiration and influence for me. And I don't know, I just think she's a really, really great girl. And then the next person that I love is Amanda Ensing. I literally like. She is my makeup goal person. Like, if you don't know who Amanda Ensing is, look her up on Instagram or look her up on YouTube. She is absolutely gorgeous. Like, her skin, her makeup, her highlight, her eye, her eyebrows, her lips, her hair, her tan. If I could be Puerto Rican, I would be, because I think she's like half Puerto Rican. I love her so much. Like, literally love her. Every single time she posts a video, I'm just like, can I reincarnate? Nail. And then the last favourite this month is a TV show. Um, I have a couple of TV shows that I watch, but I don't really have a lot at the moment that I am like not like caught up to date with. I'm caught up to date with everything. Pretty Little Liars, The Walking Dead, Modern Family. I started watching a new TV show on Netflix the other day and it's called The Carrie Diaries. And I think it's meant to be Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City back when she was a teenager, I believe, because it is like kind of back in the day. But I just love the show so much. There's a really hot guy in it as well. That's the reason I watch it pretty much. It's really good. It's kind of like a teenage -y kind of show, which I like. And yeah, I definitely recommend that you check it out if you're kind of into those like little like teenage romance kind of like going through high school kind of kind of shows. It's really, really good. So I love the Carrie Diaries. I'm going to show you guys my favourite song of this month. Oh my god, girls. I have been getting into the friggin' dancehall reggae all day, every day. Like, I have been loving dancehall reggae. Everybody probably thinks that I listen to the weirdest music because I'm like some basic white girl listening to this sort of music. But I'll tell you what, like, I hate all of that Katy Perry and Taylor Swift shit. Like, I do not listen to that. This is the music that I listen to. I don't know any of the lyrics, like, I don't know what he's saying apart from condom and pum pum, but um, I'm a girl with a girl. Okay, so that is it for my January favourites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And that's pretty much it. Oh, another thing. I want to film a questions and answers video on my channel. I haven't filmed a questions and answers for months, like probably over six months when I did my Instagram questions and answers. And most of you guys are on here. So whenever I ask on Instagram, I don't really get a ton of questions or enough to do a questions and answers. So if you're not following me on Instagram or Twitter, I will leave the links down below. Go and ask me questions on my Instagram or Twitter. But if you want to be featured, in my next questions and answers video write your questions down below you can ask me any questions that you want and I will answer them hopefully in my next questions and answers so don't forget to write questions down below and also just another quick update I have a blog which I don't know if I've mentioned I don't think I've mentioned on this channel I have a new blog it is a lifestyle blog it's a boldly brunette um, I will leave the link down below so this is more of a lifestyle blog where I just talk about everything so go and follow me on that if you would like and I will see you all very very soon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. That's my rainbow thing because I'm really good at that.